Another crucial decision when you're setting up a satellite is what do you want to have to be the basis of your satellite? Now, there's two common mechanisms that are used to determine what the base of a satellite is. You're either payload focused or you're frame or, or spacecraft bus focused. Now, we'll go ahead and talk about what these are and, and some of the alternative means to go ahead and purchasing or making a satellite. One of the more expensive ways to determine, to set a satellite is to be instrument focused. So this is commonly done with one-off NASA missions. You have the Hubble T Space Telescope on the left, and on the right, you have the James Webb Space Telescope. These are very unique instruments. The whole spacecraft is basically designed around these particular instruments. They might have some common elements that are used in some other spacecraft, but for the most part, they designed the bus, which carries the things like the communication and power and thermal control and that kind of stuff. They designed that around the payload instead of the other way around. So they determined what kind of instrument they wanted and figured out how to make it work. The other major mechanism is uh, bus determination. And, and quite often they have some kind of variant of the two. So on the left you have the high-rise camera. And on the right, you have the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. So the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, the high-rise camera goes right here. You can see, just kind of give you a scale for the size of this. Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter was based off of a standard bus, but they, they made some relatively major modifications to hold the instrumentation and whatnot that it needed. And that's pretty commonly done, especially for higher-end type spacecraft or maybe a large constellation or something like that. And it's pretty common to have a fair amount of customization with these. And you may have different companies that are building the various payloads and, and other things. Uh, the pure payload, uh, there are a couple of things. The most common thing that you see these days is CubeSats. So there are a number of companies you can go and buy a CubeSat frame and you can build your spacecraft around it. So this is a six unit CubeSat uh, from Innovation Solutions in space called ISIS. And sometimes they'll come with things like the radio and the solar panels and all of that built in. And all you have to do is plug in your, your instrument to some kind of a standard type format. On the right, you have a bus that Lockheed Martin has, the Lockheed Martin A2100. So these, you have some kind of standard payload that meets some of some satellite conventions and there are a few of them that are out there you can almost just plug these in and they'll more or less work and it can be a lot cheaper to have the bus in mind but you don't have as much flexibility with the payload you might have to customize it you might have to do something that wasn't as good as you had hoped in the end but these are the the two two of the major ways. The third way that does happen, and it's a little bit rare, but it still happens, is primarily done with geocommunication satellites. Now, most geocommunication satellites, they operate on a very common basis. They have certain frequencies that they really care about. And the main difference between them is what location they are and which company is controlling them. So you can almost just go to a company that makes these, such as Orbital ATK, and say, hey, I want a geostationary satellite. I want it to be able to repeat these, 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 and bands. And they'll say, okay. You know, they can almost pull one off the shelf, similar to, to buying an airplane. They still custom make it and do special testing for the airplane, but they, they have a relatively limited selection in what they actually do. Now, there are a number of companies that build these satellites, and they're, they're like I said, they're primarily geocommunication satellites because low-Earth orbiting satellites tend to be more uh, customized. They tend to be more constellations, and you want to have them work in a particular way, and they can't be using the same frequencies, whereas geostationary satellites, because they're in their own unique area, they can share the same kinds of frequencies. And there are standards for... TV communication in particular that are used. 
So anyways, let me know whatever questions you guys have about the major design of a payload or bus decisions, early decisions that you make in satellite development or about anything else space exploration rated. Um, For now, keep on tracking and we will see you next time. Take care.